Hey, baby. Oh, how cute. Too bad I already have a toaster. Who this crack I think he is? Coming all over here with my business, all trifling and whatnot. Oh, for real? You a blanging ass little toaster, dog. You too fresh for me, though. Settings on six to try and even match that darkness. Unholy mother of God. Steampunk toaster. I didn't know they even made these kind of things. Excuse me. How much do you want for this? The killer, known only as the toaster was sentenced to life in prison after being convicted of first-degree murder in the electrocution death of May Steinberg. The toaster allegedly cut through the bars of his cell with the same laser used to kill Ms. Steinberg and escaped between the hours of 2 and 3 this morning. We had no idea that there was a laser on this person. I mean, appliance. I mean, how hard is it to keep a toaster on uh, in prison anyways? The toaster burned a note into the wall of his cell, which we have here as an exclusive. Never underestimate the toaster, biatches. Now I'm a gonna use my laser to kill those mother expletives who put me here and anyone who gets in my way. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. who originally put him behind bars, Jack McKettle News. and Pat Swift, have issued a statement. This should make things more interesting. Lucy, what's the matter? This stupid toaster burnt me. Lucy, there's nothing to be afraid of. We've had this little toaster since we moved here. I don't know, Ricky. Lucy, that was ages before the toaster had even been arrested, let alone escaped. But what if there's some sort of conspiracy going on? What if that was just the first step in some sort of kitchen appliance uprising? Lucy. First, they burn our toast. Then our fingers. And our brains. I can't be in the same house as it, Ricky. Take it away. It's being called the Trail of Crumbs a forced exodus of toasters from nearly every home in America. Camps known as Toastervilles are popping up all over the country as the exiled domestic devices form their own communities. This is the most ridiculous form of prejudice imaginable. I mean, 
Humans murder people all the time, but you don't see us banishing them from the kitchen. You can't even look them in the eye. Because, you know, they don't have any. And how can you trust a creature? I mean, an appliance that not only doesn't have eyes, but has the power to fry you. You just can't. All this because the murderer, known only as the toaster, is still at large. We've been hiding long enough, Swift. The world needs us. Needs us to do what? Us? We need to catch that nefarious toaster so people will stop living in fear and discriminating. It's appliance profiling, and I won't stand for it. But boss, I'm scared. He specifically said he was going to toast us. We're the mother expletives who put him behind bars. I want to enter the witness protection program like Fridge did. Fridge was a private citizen. We are devices of the law and have no right to hide from our duties any longer. We must begin to search for the toaster. But that's impossible, boss. Where do we start? If you were a toaster and you wanted to blend in, where would you hide? <sighs> they do it in the kitchen, Swift. Right, the kitchen. Of course. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we have to search every kitchen in the tri-state area? It means we have to try. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I know I just bought bread the other day. Where'd it go? I don't remember doing that. into your kitchen to talk to you about it. Come on, hurry up. <sighs> Swift, when you've been in this business as long as I have. Oh, shut the. Well, Lucy, so kids are selling cookies. <laughs> you know how much I hate the kind, Ricky. You know how much I love cookies, Lucy. Can't we compromise? No. Detectives McKettle and Swift have issued a new statement stating that they are going to hunt down the toaster. Those idiots, they'll never find me. And if they do, I'll fry their asses to a crisp and eat them for breakfast. Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over and what is God must be all that absence. Would you like to buy some cookies? I love cookies. Come in and I'll get my wallet. Why did 
I just go blind in one of them? <laughs> I'm never drinking again. Thanks to the brave efforts of McKettle, Swift, and human Thora Dietz, our world is once again safe from rogue cookers. Toasters are returning home in mass numbers. <laughs> well, that's all for the Daily Local this morning. I'm Minnie Haberdash. Have a nice day, and remember, appliances are people too. Well, that doesn't make any sense. They're appliances. They're not people, right? I mean, no, I'm just saying that there's a difference. Am I right? Huh? I... Until tomorrow, then. Come on, really. They're appliances. And how the heck does a toaster even get a laser? I had a waffle iron once, you know, that would get a little arrogant, but it wouldn't try to kill anybody. You know, it would just not do the, the bread with the little things, and it would be sort of doughy and runny. But it's not the same thing as a toaster trying to kill someone. I mean, what kind of digital nonsense is this? They're electric, right? What, what, soon they're going to be putting cameras into them as well? Oh, I'll toast my bread and then take a picture of my family. It doesn't make any sense. You know, I think they should just get rid of them. We could have, you know, toasting forks and people could do it over an open fire. I think that's perfectly plausible. Seriously. Appliances are people too. That, that's not still running, is it? The, <laughs> the uh, opinions expressed by Minnie Haberdash may not necessarily reflect those of the news station. <laughs> Please tune in tomorrow. Please.